Hi everyone, my name is Giuliano. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Office Mobile app on Android and iOS. But before to jump in, please subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos. The Office Mobile app is the new unified app released by Microsoft, totally free, which includes PowerPoint, Excel and Word. The first thing that I have done on my smartphone is uninstalling these three apps and I saved a lot of space, 350 mega more or less. And includes also other useful tools. For example, you can sign in a PDF directly on your smartphone or you can scan a table from a picture and create a new Excel file. But let's walk through together in this app. Let's go! Here I am on my Android device. First of all, I need to install Office on my device. Then I have to tap on Play Store and in the search box I will write Microsoft Office. And then I will have the ability to install this application on my device. I already performed this operation, then I will tap immediately on the button Open. I have a big overview in the home page of my files in my OneDrive. And I have also the ability to filter these files per Word, Excel, per type, then per PowerPoint, PDF, Media and Notes. But let's start from the beginning and from the configuration of this application. You can use your personal account or work account, whatever you want. I have here my personal account. Then you have the settings option which allow you to enable the mobile view. For example, I recommend you to enable this toggle button because Office has a very great and mobile friendly interface. Then you have the ability to select the default storage location. In my case, I have OneDrive, Documents. Then you can enable download most recent and recommended files. And you have the notification section where you can get notified whenever you have share a file with me or edit shared file. Then we go back on the on the landing page and here we have this big plus button that basically it gives you the ability to interact with the with the most important uh, functionality of this application so the first one going from left to right is notes you can take quickly a note if you are in a conference or in a meeting in some case where you have only your smartphone with you and you need to immediately write something this is the the right way to go you can create a note and first important reminder for example then you go back and you have already this note save it you can navigate every every notes in this way from left to right or you can tap tap on the see all just to to have a, an overview of all notes in one in one page then the second feature is lens lens it's another great application included in office and basically allow you to scan document I have here a document already and available I can just scan this document also if the angle is not very perfect like in this case then you can adjust your frame of this document and then confirm and here we go we have this document scanned I can change also filter for example I can have a BW1 filter I can take grayscale or clear I will go for clear, it's, it's nice, 
and then done and the document is scanned. Then the third feature is documents and here I have the opportunity to create Word, Excel or PowerPoint files. I can start from scratch, then I can create a document from, blank, from a blank template or I can use um, a template to, to start to, to have a already um, structured content in, in my file. Then I have the important feature to scan text, so if I need to to start from a solid draft, I can, for example, scan this document and I can use this text that I have, digitalize this text and work on my Word document. And here we go, we have this document, so this is German, and I can just continue to work on this get started content. Okay, let me go back now because I, I'd like to show you Excel. Excel is it's great, I can scan table. I have an, a table here also. I can just scan this table, then confirm. And during the elaboration, I, I will have the ability to review every value that I have here in the cell. I can change the value it's, if it's not correct. And then there is um, also some cells that is highlighted in a, in a red light here. So you can review this value because the accuracy is not so high then the application asks you to review all this um, this element so then I I will open immediately the Excel file everything looks looks good for me and here we go we have this table so you don't need to start from scratch every time you can reuse some content that you already have now let's go through the third button here which is actions this open another incredible set of tools that you have. Then we have transfer files, we will see later. Then we have share nearby. So this is quite familiar also in, a, in other application. But it's good to have also this one, uh, only one in, uh, in one application. Then we have convert text and images and basically here we have the same functionality that we have seen before. So you can scan an image with a table if you need to, to create an Excel or you can you can basically take a text from, from a picture. Let me go for this section of this document. So I, I need for example this this specific section I can confirm and then I will start to work on this on this text in my in my document I can copy this text and reuse as I as I want. Going back again we have another great feature which is sign a PDF. This is one of my favorite. I have the ability to Sign in, uh, sign a PDF file in my directly in my smartphone. It's very familiar or very typical that you receive uh, an email with a PDF with a form or a contract, and you you need to sign in this contract immediately or fastly. And this is a very great way to go. So you you have the option here to tap where you wish to sign. And then you can start to, um, here we go, as you can see, you can just sign the document in this way. And then you can put this sign, resign, resize the sign and put whatever you want in the document. Here we go, I would save now this document and we have the, the signature, it's very, very great. 
Then you can also create a PDF by scanning uh, a picture. So I have always the same document that I can use as, as demo here. Here we go, I have this, this one, I can add a new one, for example I can pick up this other image that I already have. The, I can, uh, as always, select also a filter. And here we go, we have this PDF with these two pages. Okay, I will discard now and then we have pictures, the document to PDF, so you can convert a document into PDF. Or you can convert a PDF to a Word document. Finally, we have the scan QR code. This is also an, an utility quite um, popular in every in every smartphone and there are a lot of application but it's nice to have also this one in the in the set of functionalities then you have rears with coach this is in preview but it's very great so you can start a presentation and you can start to to explain and talk about of this presentation and um, rears coach it, gives you uh, some suggestion how you can um, improve your skill, what are your problem if you um, yeah for example I got a good a good evaluation now with microphone but if I if I for example spell some uh, 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 this is not good and this will be immediately notified to you that you have to try to reduce some um, uh, so it's very great so you can go forward slide by slide and you can emulate your presentation with your personal coach at the end you have if I stop now the session you will have a, an evaluation total time three slide rehearsed originality then you have pace you have also the average pace over time, sensitivity phrases and then fillers with, with suggestion. You can rehearse again, but it's very, very useful when you have important uh, speech to do. Okay, now let's go with transfer files. Let me go on my PC to show you this, this functionality. Here I am now on my PC. And on my smartphone I see that I have to go on transfer.office.com if I want to transfer files between my smartphone and my PC. So I will open this website and I have here a QR code to, to scan. I can decide if I have to receive file or send file. I need, I need now to send a file from my smartphone so then I will tap on the button send. I will scan this QR code, I will tap on pair on my smartphone and my PC and now I can from my smartphone send a document, I will send this PDF file. And as you can see I already got this file, I can open this file on my PC. I can, as you can see, is the, the, the previous file that I signed. This is a great way to uh, immediately transfer file between devices. Alright, we have seen in this tutorial all functionalities included in the Office mobile app. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with my next videos. Put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future. I hope to see you next time. Bye!